Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play the piano part to Titan... I said Titanic. Titanium by David Guetta, which features Sia. Um, so I'm going to be teaching you what you just heard in the preview, so like the um, delayed plucked guitar sound. Um, obviously we would be playing that on the piano. And then I'm going to show you how to play the chords, so um, in case you wanted to sing with it or in, in case you wanted to accompany someone. So we're only going to be looking at three parts which will make up the entire song. I have left the full chord song lyric structure, a link to that in the description below, but it is really repetitious, it's mostly the same four chords all the way through. So for that reason I'm not going to do a full playthrough, I may do the odd bit singing just as a reference point. So before we dive in, uh, welcome, my name is Francesca and I'm the teacher here at Bite Size Piano. Please subscribe if you haven't already, go have a rummage around my channel, see what else you can learn and I've left a few playlists in the description to get you started. I do take piano tutorial requests, this one was requested. If you'd like to leave a request, go watch to the end of the video where there are instructions on how you can do that there. And finally, thank you to everyone who supports Bite Size Piano on Patreon. Your support genuinely means everything and what keeps the channel going. If you find value in my videos and would like to support the channel in that way, please go see the links in the description of where you can do that. So let's dive in. This one's in the key of C minor. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of C minor. The melody and the chords are formed using these notes, so it's really important to know what key we're in so we know um, which notes we're dealing with. The guitar plucked part is all hand separate, I'm going to teach you this both hands at the same time. So I'm going to colour code it, so the left hand is going to be purple and the right hand is going to be orange. Um, so here is middle C for reference. Your left hand is going to be starting on the E flat, the low middle C, and the right hand is going to start on the B flat. E flat, B flat, F, B flat, and then G, B flat, F, B flat. So if I speed that up, so that's the first part. And then the left hand's going to move to a, just down a semitone to a D, and the right hand is going to stay on that B. Um, but you're going to bring those outer fingers into E flat and F. You're going to do the same pattern again. So D, B flat, E flat, B flat, F, B flat, E flat, B flat. So I'm going to join those two parts together now slowly. Then you're going to play a C in the left hand, and then you're going to come up to C and G in your right hand, and we're going to go C, C, F, C, G, C, F, C, and then play the G in the left hand, C, F, C, G, C, F. I'll just do that a little bit again. So now I'm going to join all of what we've done so far, slowly. repeats again, so the first two shapes are the same, so the E flat, then this bit is slightly different. So in the left hand you're still going to play a C, C, F, C, G, C, F, A flat, C, G, C, F, C, G, C. And then E flat. 
that. So I'll just do that bit slowly. And then it'll be into the beginning again. So I'm going to join that whole thing together now. So it's like two chord progressions, um, each of the ending is slightly different. Um, and then that is repeated. So you would play it twice for the intro and then the verse four times through, um, so obviously when she starts singing. So that's a main, a big bulk of the song already covered. So I'm gonna play that now. You shout it out, but I can't hear a word you say. So that's what's happening in the intro in the verse, as I said. So now I'm gonna have a look at the chorus. Um, and the set of four chords is what basically makes the rest of the song. Um, and I'm gonna play them in a specific inversion and I'll explain why. So when she's singing, I'm bulletproof. So the first chord is an A flat major. Um, I'm gonna choose this, the A flat, as the top voice because that's the note that she's singing so if you're singing this yourself um, accompanying yourself or someone else having the top voice of the chord might help you pitch that note I'm bulletproof so that I'm bullet and then the next chord is a, a B flat major nothing to lose so that's why I've picked this inversion this order of the notes because of the D is the top voice of the next like vocal line. Nothing to lose. The next chord is a G minor. Cut the fly away, fly away. I think they're the, the lyrics. <laughs> That's the top voice of that vocal part. Very far away. So you could choose to play this um, if you think that would help in these inversions. Um, so I'll do that again. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. C minor. And then again. Ricochet. And then the left hand will just be playing the root notes of those chords. And then when she's singing, you shut me down, but I won't fall. We're going to change the inversion so that it just might help your singing, that's all. So we're going to switch around what we're going to play for this part. Um, so now the C is going to be the top voice of the A flat major chord. You shoot me down. And then the next one is going to be this inversion for the B flat major chord. But I will fall. And then this will be I am die and then die. I can't sing that high, I don't know how she belts that. And that will be die. Um. I'll go over those chord progressions again for that vocal part.
And then you could carry on playing um, that because it's like the post chorus, which is just like the instrument, the instrumental bit. Um, so the really heavy uh, bass line, you know, which I mean, it's just the same four chords. So you could have a go um, at just playing um, lower octaves if you can reach them in the left hand. <laughs> just sort of picking out the notes of the vocal lines. It does make it easy to do that when you're vo voicing your chords in a specific way. And then it'll be back into... one more section left to look at which is the bridge so it is those same four chords again so the bridge is where she's singing that bit so the chords there we'll just play it the same way as we were playing the chorus repeats again chorus, and then it'll be into the chorus again It's just those four chords the entire way through to the end of the track from there. Um, so again, I'm not going to do a full playthrough because it's it's so repetitious and it really is those two, three different sections. So again, I've listed um, the full chord song lyrics in the description below. Yeah, but it should be pretty straightforward when to hear when the changes are um, and then just give you a couple of different ways that you could voice those chords if you were um, supporting yourself singing or someone else just it's useful to have have those top notes there um, for the singers so they can help with pitching so that concludes the tutorial i hope that you have enjoyed it and that it's been useful in order to request a piano tutorial you do need to be subscribed and you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space all requests are noted and considered but make sure to hit the notifications bell because your requests could be coming up soon i will see you in the next one